got some real crank. Basically, in the drawing, there's a bilge stringer that at the intersection of the floor timber and the frame on the side of the hull skin, there's a bilge stringer. Okay? All the planks run parallel to the center line into this. So, the logical thing would be this is the border of our floorboards. So, that's the first piece that we put in and establish in the boat and fit all of our floorboards to it. Okay? Can we use it for both sides? Do you think? Yes. with a compass and we're just missing there so we'll open our compass up a little bit more okay is to start at that intersection with the point of our compass and swing an arc at that intersection and swing an arc okay And then when we go to lay this onto a plank, without moving the compass, we put the compass at the apex of that arc, and we swing an arc onto our plank. Okay? Connecting the apexes of all of those arcs gives us, this is one way of spiling. Okay? The other would be to take, the, take a constant gap, whatever your constant gap is, and make a scribe block that's that size, and you could hold it right there and scribe, and scribe, and scribe, and then with that block in your pocket, you could take it back to the plank time, the plank with you, and lay that block on your line and scribe back the other way. Okay, it's just a constant measurement to the spiling bat and back onto your, back onto your plank. Okay, so we'll get the bottom edge of this spiled, and it's a parallel sided piece, okay? The other thing is, is what's the greatest gap at our ends here? Or it doesn't even need to be. So two inch, if we had a two inch block. Pop the wood out on Just the scribe onto our batten. That then with our batten on our board that we're gonna get this out of, we lay that right on and that is our end cut. Use that same block for the forward end. Okay, everyone with me? Yeah. Okay, so we need to hang on to this. We need to make sure that we don't move our compass. Let's go ahead and, and get arcs on these, David. Or George, go ahead. We're doing from the reference line of the slide yeah. and at the joint. You want to label forward. Okay. 
nicely demoed. And the other thing is, is to get the apex, to get the apex of that curve, if you just hold a straight edge along the frame and give yourself a scribe, that's pretty much the apex of that arc that we've swung. Okay. So which, you guys, which is your center, bisecting the center arc. For spine. Exactly, we're bisecting that arc, so that's where the the needle of our our compass will go. 